you know, there was a time when the cars from Jaguar could be considered a little bit too safe, a little bit too traditional, and a little bit too conservative. Not anymore. This is Jaguar's brand new XJ, their flagship model. Together with the XF, they hope that these two cars will reinvent the brand. But in order to tempt buyers away from the likes of BMW and Mercedes, it's got to appeal to the right sort of customer. And that's where the whatcar.com reader test team come in. Let's see what they think. I'm a bit flabbergasted, really. I, I, I'm very mixed emotions. I've been a, a Jaguar fan since I was 14. I bought a new one two years ago, an XJ Sovereign. And I love the interior in this car, but the, the exterior, I'm, I'm almost speechless. I, I, can't, I can't put it into words. I, I, I just don't know. First impressions, I think it's classy. It certainly looks a lot better than some of the pictures I've seen. Um, it's also big. Uh, and the long wheelbase looks even bigger. I think it's stunning. In one word, it's stunning. There aren't enough superlatives to describe it properly, but it's... Mm, we've seen this queue before in the XF, so we're familiar with that, that format. But it's taken it forward to another generation. The styling at the back is a completely new experience. OK, well, I really like the interior. I think it's fantastic. They've got all the detailing right. It still wraps around you like a real Jaguar should. And it's got some great details like the uh, Riva line around the front of the dashboard. And the instrumentation is fantastic. And it's a step up from the XF, which I wasn't expecting. I think uh, I would only rate the exterior three or four out of five. Um, there are a few too many shut lines. They've got the front right. The rear is a little heavy, but it's not as bad as it was in the pictures. And in the flesh or in the metal it looks an awful lot better than the pictures but I would say that around the back of the car and perhaps that uh, glass folding roof or sliding roof isn't as successful as I'd like. So then, do you want one yet? The good news is you've got time to start saving your money because deliveries don't start until the new year. Prices start at £52,500 for the entry level diesel rising to £88,000 for the supercharged model. We will of course be giving you a full road test and more details as we get them on whatcar.com.